If you, viewer, only knew the technical tribulations that we're going through today, but I'm very happy with new glasses. Look at them, but they're dirty now. Welcome. This is an interesting one because here are some people that would, it's two people. We've never done that, have we? And they're awfully good. And I'm very interested to speak to them. Well, they're everything, aren't they? They do everything. And the numbers of people that want to witness them doing everything are just astonishing. I've got so many things to ask them. Masters of the podcast, masters of the live podcast taken into arenas and it's just that's another world isn't it oh brin alert it's another world gwen please welcome to our humble abode chris and rosie ramsey hey hello well there's a sight for sore eyes after technical <laughs> issues <laughs> Let me lean in like some old duffer who doesn't know what he's doing and just <laughs> see if I can. I, I'm really excited about this. Now, you're married to each other. I'm married to a, another woman who plays no part in your marriage. <laughs> Yet. It, oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's no truth to those rumours. <laughs> How do you manage? Because I would say for people that don't know, everybody does know. Your life is is all out there. How do you keep a happy home thing with all its normal bumps and what have you and then say, hey, let's now turn the camera on us? How, yeah. do, how do we? I don't know whether it's just become a natural part of our lives. Yeah. Not, obviously, we, there is still some things private. But when it's the podcast, it actually has helped mm -hmm. our marriage. To, to, to talk and discuss. But you know the interesting thing you say there is when anybody says anything about a relationship working, it's all about communication. And so in a way what you're saying is you're, you're forced to communicate, aren't yeah. you? You're forced yeah. to, to, to say, you know, with your beefs and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But where do you draw the line between a beef being... Because there are beefs and there are beefs. You know, they're, 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 there's a beef and there's a beef stroganoff. And I would say that the, the beef stroganoff is maybe a... Ooh, you know, in, in Daddy's Home, they talk about um, the Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg film. Because you're not harbouring, are you? About harbouring yeah. resentments, yeah. you know? And he goes, oh, I'm not, I'm not harbouring. I'm not, my harbour is, is clear. So are you saying that in this way of working, there's never a chance to harbour? Yeah, no, there's not. Because there's we, really not. we bring it up and we do one every week. So yeah. the thing that's niggling that week, we bring it up. It genuinely has helped. Yeah. Although there is some that you still do. Yeah, there's some you still do. That, that, that they become <laughs> off yeah. air. Actual arguments. Yeah, huge arguments. How did the two of you get together? How, how did you meet? We've known each other a long time. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah. Um, we're from the same town. Rosie and her friend came round to my estate and they were going out with the bigger boys who lived up at the top of the estate and I was one of the younger boys just on a BMX at the bottom of the street. No, you're, you're my age. Yeah, but girls age. mature more. You, you, yeah. you look like a young woman walking past and I was sitting on a BMX. Well, that's a curious thing in itself, isn't it? Because I've, I've got five kids and I notice with my 13-year-old, my the girls that are in his year at school, frankly, are young women. Yeah. And, and the boys are Labrador puppies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so careering cool. around into doorways and things. Mm -hmm. So, Rosie, you didn't think, you didn't see Chris as, as being way behind you intellectually and with his emotional intelligence? Oh, I still do now. I still wow. do now. <laughs> still, there's a massive difference. <laughs> so, so then how, how did the, the, the podcast is, is, the, is the first thing that, that you did together. Yeah. How, how, how did it come to be? The show I did on Comedy Central. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on then. You, you so, I, I just feel like I've spoke a lot. That's all. I didn't no, know if you wanted fine. to. Lazy. Um, I was doing my own show on Comedy Central. Uh, it was called The Chris Ramsey Show. And we basically, I had to do Facebook Lives every night before it went on to sort of promote the show, chat to the fans. And Rosie sat for the first one off camera with a glass of wine, essentially heckling. Um, <laughs> and everyone was like, your wife's hilarious. I filmed a special for Comedy Central in Newcastle Arena. And I mentioned her. This was before the podcast. I mentioned Rosie. And the entire crowd started chanting her name. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, I do remember. 
They started <laughs> chanting a name. They were Rosie, Rosie. Then we started doing the Facebook Lives together for the Comedy Central show. And then Rosie's idea was let's do a, some kind of YouTube channel. And I said, I'm not sure. And then you said, let's do a podcast. People mm -hmm. do podcasts. They're massive. And I, I thought it was a stupid idea. And it is massive, isn't it? I mean, the, 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 the numbers, uh, frankly, for someone who also has a podcast, are, 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 can only be described as very upsetting. No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. <laughs> upsetting. Yeah, it, it, we didn't. We didn't expect this. We have no. no idea. It's, I mean, it's a fluke in every single sense of the word. We, we had no idea. Um, we literally sit down to make each other laugh, and we come away from every record thinking that was rubbish. We do every, every single week. We think it's rub we think it's we terrible. Rubbish. There's a, there's a great clip somewhere of Richard Burton, uh, long departed. Does that name mean anything to you two? Richard Burton. Does, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show me ignorance here. It doesn't, and I'm so sorry. At first, I Is thought Is he Tim any relation Burton. to Tim? That's <laughs> what I thought. Let me be a bit like now, a bit like Doc Brown, okay? And I've, okay. I've, come, I've come back from the future, okay? <laughs> I said, oh, Chris, oh, Rosie, the future. One day, you're going to mention somebody to younger people, and they're not going to have a clue who you're talking about. <laughs> That was really good. That was fun. So, that so what I'm saying to you is, live, Chris, Rosie, live. Enjoy this time of your life where you'll mention a contemporary figure and everybody you speak to. You know, because to me, it is nothing short of breathtaking that you don't know. You've never heard right, of no, Richard I don't, I don't, Can Burton. we Google him? Oh, no, God. you can't, and you mustn't feel bad about this. This is a joyous recognition of your youth and vitality. He <sighs> was a famous actor, and he was married to Elizabeth Taylor. Does that name mean anything to you? Yes. 100%. Yes. All right, so let's think of him as Elizabeth Taylor's husband then. His, his, his picture's in black and white, man. When was he out? <laughs> when was he out? <laughs> What no, Rosie, 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 for a while, black and white was all we had. Oh, when was he out? Is that our door? That is our doorbell, I'm so sorry. Oh. Are you going to go and get it? I'm so sorry. I love this. This is so real. So Rosie, sorry. Rosie, could, could this be any more real? This is our life. Our life is chaotic. Chris is back. Now, now, this now listen. Listen, I've just got a wine decanter delivered. Oh. Does that impress you in any way? Does that undo any of the Richard Burton damage? You have... I, I, I don't know you, but even I can tell you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we think we are? You're honestly? not You're not the Chris I didn't know before. You're... <laughs> you're... And what what I what I didn't know I liked about you in the past was your real earthy working class credentials, and now I feel that that person I didn't know has been is lost is dead to me. <laughs> now, can we go back? Can we go back to talking yes. about people that mean something to me? So, yes, of and the ultimate story is going to seem so underwhelming. There's a documentary where Elizabeth Taylor's husband is talking about, he's in a theatre, and he's telling you about the different actors and how they cope with nerves. And he said, some do this, some do that. And there's one, and I forget who it was, be pointless naming him to you, you wouldn't have heard of him. And he stood <sighs> behind the curtain and he's looking out and saying, there's none of you, none of you can do what I'm about to do. Not one person in this room could do what I'm about to do. And that was his way of getting to that position where wow. you can go out and face an audience. And the other way, and I have done this sometimes, is the power stance. Are you aware of that? Power what, sorry? Power stance. The power stance, stance, or the stance, okay. sorry. The sta yeah, yeah, where you stand. I'm going I'm to try and... I've never done okay. this before. I, I'm going to stand up in my podcast. What, this right. will see the numbers soar. Watch this. So, <laughs> oh, it's, look, it's kind cool. of this. Right. And you right. stand there, right? And Beautiful. that position, that if you hold that for however long, you're open and you're confident and you go out with in a confident state of mind. Nice. Okay. I might try that. I might try that as well. <laughs> I, I, we've got we've got a really uh, it's because we've been doing our show together on stage. We've mm. got a really different uh, approach to it, haven't we? Oh God, yeah. Which is hard. So I go quite quiet and insular before a gig, don't I? Well, no, I go. 
Oh, before, before a po- sorry, before a podcast, I go quiet and insular. She screams the house down and sings. And some days when we do the podcast, we will avoid each other for the entire day until it's time to record. Okay, well let me let me step in here. That's a slippery slope, and what <laughs> I see. What I see is the beginning of the end for so many double acts. Uh, I won't name them, you won't have heard of them. But <laughs> they start out as great friends. They oh, end up, oh, listen, we, we, we don't talk for about half an hour before the show. That becomes to, I won't be in the same room as that woman. <laughs> Separate cars. No, we've had, we have had genuine chat because our marriage is more important than anything that we do. Yeah. And the minute yeah. that we don't end You say that. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. He's all about. He's all about the numbers. Of us. Listen, I've seen. I've seen your numbers, and <laughs> and and frankly, no marriage is is more important than those numbers. <laughs> it is. No, it is. If it I is. could get those numbers, she'd be out the door. <laughs> In the middle of what we were just saying, you, you mentioned how Rosie will sing before a, a show. Mm. You've got a gorgeous voice. How much singing do you do? Thank you. Um, not as much as I'd like to anymore, because I used to do it as a job. That used to be my actual job. I saw a clip of you with with your with your little baby, and you do a kind of rolling in the deep thing, and and it, and it, and, it, and it made me go, oh, like that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's it's, lovely. Uh, thank you very much. What I'm what I'm saying is that even from somebody like myself, relatively new to your phenomena, um, it's very clear to see on which side of the fence the talent is mostly stacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh my goodness they're starting to find out i knew it, well, would, ha- I knew it would happen you've you've go, done go. you've done so you've done quite a lot this is pain this i is think pain. by anybody's standards this... the silence we just experienced would be best described as awkward it was uh honestly i am mortified well i always sometimes no i get annoyed do you remember when you did heaven yeah. When we and Chris first met each other, he started. He did Heaven, the sitcom on BBC, and I remember oh, series one. Chris Gernon directed. Who directed a Gavin and Stacey that yeah. I was in? I played yeah. the part of Uncle Bryn. Yes. Oh yeah, we know we know this. We're big fans of Gavin. And Stacey. <laughs> oh, yeah. To the point where um, I need to tell you, Rob, that my best friend and I we quote probably on a weekly basis. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> surprise! Rob, I'm so sorry. She promised she wouldn't do this. She promised. I mention it. I said, I you can't say it. a surprise, surprise, surprise to him. You can't do it. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rosie, obviously, is a bit of a fan. So, if anything, it's making me love her even surprise, more. Surprise. See? This is, surprise! This is backfire. Surprise! Is surprise! Backfire. Surprise! Yeah. surprise. <laughs> We're having a barn dance. <laughs> oh, shit, oh, oh, that's God. it. God. Right, that's I'm it. done. Life I'm, made. Life that's me. made. I am full to the brim <laughs> for life. Tell me about the Strictly experience, but from both sides, and I'm almost more interested, Rosie, in your experience, because what was... You know sometimes when you're watching a loved one do, do a production or a performance, you're more nervous than the person doing it, because it's out of your control. What was it like for you on a Saturday night waiting to see him do his thing? It was, it was really, it's exactly how you just described it. It was, um, it was terrifying and really emotional. They really don't let on how hard it is for the, for the celebrities yeah. doing it. And you, <clears throat> you struggled so much during that show. So much. You it was were hard. exhausted. It was really hard. The first week I did a cha cha cha. Karen, uh, who was my Karen Hower, who was my pro, who was phenomenal. She taught me the steps, all of the steps. And by Wednesday, I had all the steps. And then we kept running it. And I've got a really good memory. That's the only thing I had going for us. I've got a really, really crazy yeah. good memory. So I was running all the steps by the Wednesday. And then the Thursday, we just kept running it and kept running it. And I'm so glad I didn't say this, but I nearly went. I nearly said, Rob, should I um sort of tone it down a bit because they're going to think that I've had professional training here. You did not. I I didn't say it. I didn't say it. (laughs) Thank God I didn't say it. But I thought, I've nailed this. And I'm like, she keeps going, yeah, that's great. And I'm like, "Mm, okay. And then I got to the studio on the Friday and I saw everyone else and I went, she's just taught me where to stand. (laughs) 
<laughs> I was like, she's just taught me where I have to be on each beat. You I'm have, not dancing here. You've listened to her pump you up. She was the best that. hype man ever. And That's she was filling me full of confidence. And she thought, what she must have done is she must have saw me move and thought... I need to just tell him the bare, bare <laughs> basics here, or he is going to have a breakdown. That's very funny to think, God, yeah, God, I'm actually, I might be, I might be too good for this. I was like, I was like, honestly, I was like, I might have to take a dive here. Are they going to think oh, this God, is real? Stop, stop. I might, I might have to, I might have to deliberately go off beat and say I was nervous because they're going to, they're going to think I'm some kind of Fred Astaire character here. Oh. Right, well, look, I've taken up a lot of your time and what a lovely, charming pair you are. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so thank much, you. guys, for giving up your, frankly, very valuable time. So thank so you thank so you much. for doing it. And um, on we go. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? What the hell? Hey, we we'll all do it. We we'll all do it. Strictly See you soon. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>